yeah, it's a tough, tough Tuesday morning, but the boys have been brilliant. You know, Tuesday afternoon, today out there training, it's been fantastic. And you know, fortunately, we're in a position where we can um, we can move forward. So, got the likes of you know Courtney and Dylan, Tom Wood, George North, you know, all those guys. Lee, Lee Dixon coming back in, it's phenomenal. You know, the lift they bring, the energy, you know, just 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 freshens up that environment again. And no, it's been it's been great having them back. But it couldn't be better timing really to get them back, could it? In that yeah, you know, falling back into the Premiership, you know, coming on the back of the LV, you know, I think um, certainly there, there'll be some disappointed guys within the squad because you know they're coming in. And obviously, there's a natural shuffle within the team and selection, but um, yeah, I think yeah, all the guys that have played over this period have taken their chance, and uh -huh. I think it's made selection very difficult. What do you make for the, the weekend's game at Sale? Then? Yeah, really, really looking forward to it. I mean, uh, they're a quality outfit, you know. Gave us a tough game when we played them here, and I think um, St. Will in the forwards definitely not underestimating them. You know they've got good good driving play, good set piece. You know they're, they're gonna they're gonna have threats all over the place. So no, certainly treating it with the respect it needs to be treated with, and um, but likewise, you know looking forward to it. You know like you said, the guys coming back, and yeah, just just looking forward to the weekend now. Tasting all those defeats and, and having the, the you know having that in the the memory will will make it even sweeter when we do lift the trophy and. You know, we have to be very confident this year that we've got the squad to do it. We feel that you know, this year is Saints' year. I think we're top of the table for a reason. We've only come unstuck once this season in a very dubious call. Um, but, you know, we're confident that we can do something very big. Um, we'd like to have won everything, but sadly we didn't quite deliver there. But, you know, like I said, we've got two big, two big competitions left to aim at and uh, we'll be going all guns blazing, I'm sure. Fine for me, Salem. Saturday, the, the old foe. Um, good, you know, I'm happy for Sale because I think they've done, you know, a couple of years ago, I think they were uh, touted to go down. They were struggling a little bit and they haven't really gone and signed massive names. Obviously, Cipriani was probably the most notable signing and whether it was a good one or a bad one, it was it was left to be decided. But I think he's been playing superb. He's, he's been, you know, the catalyst of their form, I think, this season. And they've gone about their business very well. Um, you know they they snuck into mid table range. They can even sneak into that top four with a run of good results. So um, you have to dot your cap off to, to what's happened there. I think they've uh, they've you know silenced the critics on the field rather than shouting their mouths off or trying to make massive signings. They've just gone about their business pretty quietly. Stuck up a few wins, um, turned over some some big games, and, and and climbed themselves into competition for that top four spot. And uh, we know we've got our work cut out on the weekend, but like I said, we've got the big guns coming back from international duty who hopefully will uh, put in a big performance and then encourage everyone around them to, to jump on board and, and get the season back on track.